The population is 100 million. This is pork, right? There are live ducks and chickens. Did you know that Vietnam has the highest number of motorcycles in the world? Turtle here. Unfortunately, they sell them for food. The people wearing these hats are real Vietnamese people. <laughs> Greetings to everyone. Welcome to a new episode. I'm now visiting your homes from Taipei Airport, the capital of Taiwan, and we're going to a new country. The journey to Vietnam, my 43rd country, begins. Before starting the video, I would be very happy if you comment and share likes for this brother. Because the more comments and the likes, more motivated we are and the more content we produce. With the difference of Haita Yolarda production, the new adventure begins in Vietnam. We've boarded our plane and we're leaving now. They gave us seat number 38, 38B. They gave us the back seat. This can't be happening. Let's start our journey. Three three-hour journey awaits us. And we're making our traditional plane exit. I'm the last one to get off. Our friend at check-in gave me the back seat. Well, that's fine. This is a lesson for us. There's nothing to do. Look at this line, thousands of people. We're in the country, no problem. And now my 43rd country. Congratulations to Vietnam, 43. I've called a taxi now. I'm waiting for it on Grab. We'll get in and go to the city center right now. We'll rest. We'll resume shooting where we left off. My brother is here, brother. We're getting in and out. We've called a taxi. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Ho Chi Minh City. One of the most beautiful cities in Vietnam. We are in Saigon, the old name of Ho Chi Minh. Today, we are going to explore with you a little bit the local markets of Vietnam. Normally, I don't go to the local markets in the first part, but seeing that the hotel I'm staying at is next to me, we thought let's make a quick and sweet entrance. We are on the 10th street. This area is called District 10. There is a small local market. We left the link of our company Haida Yolarda Productions in the description section for getting visa, for fast support, and for reliable corporate service. Not only Vietnam, but almost all of the countries of the world, especially the American visa. If you want to get support, you can contact us by clicking on the link. This is our market. It is an incredible place. Very pleasant, colorful. This is a place where fruits, vegetables, fish, live chickens are sold. As we know, Vietnam is one of the most beautiful countries in Asia. I actually wanted to leave this place for last. We are now traveling to my last country in Southeast Asia. We are slowly starting to finish now. This is number 43 for us. My sister sells fruits here. She's lined up melons, watermelons, zucchini. The official exchange rate is $1.24,35 Vietnamese dong. The population of the country is 100 million. The city we are in now is Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon City. The population here is said to be 10 million according to the census conducted in 2021. Then there is Hanoi, again one of the biggest cities. We will go there in the next chapters. And now we are at the live market, where there are fish, frogs, eels, octopuses, squids, shrimps. For example, look, there he is changing the water for the red snippers. Nice pumping system. There's ducks. They're sold clean, sanitized. That chicken blood is the national dish of Vietnam. If you remember, we showed it in the Taiwan section. Here again, it is one of the most consumed products. The duck meat we see in this field is quite dark in color. With the flies, the flies are having lunch right now. Let's not disturb them. They sell pork here. Hello? This is pork, right? How much one kilo? How much? Vietnam dong, 100 dong. 100 dong. Okay, 100 dongs of pork. That's $4 a pound. Thank you. On the side, there are live ducks and chickens. You buy them here. They end your life immediately. They pluck the animal's feathers and give it away. You take them home and enjoy them for dinner. Look at the bonito. Look at the bonito. Chinook, bluefish, fresh, fresh fish. Did you know that Vietnam has the highest number of motorcycles in the world? Yes, now we all know together. What are those? What's the name of this fish, guys? It's so tiny. What fish was it? I forget. Look, frogs. It's alive. They eat a lot of frogs here. They even eat turtles in Vietnam. Very different people, really. 1955, 1975. The Vietnam-American War is perhaps one of the longest wars in the world. They still remember those days. 
the North and the South were pitted against each other, and it went on for 20 years. Of course, the old American embargo is no longer there. There is trade against America again. There is Starbucks. There are world brands. Because if there was an embargo, there would be no trade with America. The ties are broken, just like what happened in Iran. Obviously, things are slowly getting better. They say it is a communist country, but it cannot be said that communism is practiced in Vietnam. This is the live chicken market again. They sell the chicken with its internal organs and feet. Plucking is done here. I would show you one if we came across one. My sister cut up five chickens this morning, three chickens, two ducks, fresh. If I had the money, I'd buy them. Hello? Look at the fish. What are those, goldfish? Turtle. Are there turtles here? Turtles too, because they eat a lot. This is the shrimp shop. Motorcycles pass through the market all the time. So we have to look left and right a lot. My uncle sells prawns here, big and icy. There are tiger prawns and squid over there, fresh. Oh my God, you can't eat this stuff. Blue crabs, the famous Fethia crab. They brought them here from Fethia. How are you? Hello, hi chickens. Here is the world's, unfortunately, that's how the system works. We must have vegetarian friends among us who are watching, but what can we do? Look, a turtle. Unfortunately, they sell the turtle here for food. There are small turtles over there, so nobody buys them here to feed them. The turtle is also one of the consumed animals for Vietnam. We see many different fish. There are different turtles here again. There is also something like this in Vietnam. Northerners and Southerners do not like each other very much. The people wearing these hats are real Vietnamese people. Hello? And those are transparent fish. What fish do they call them? Oh, look at the squid! Baby. The baby's so tiny. There's a smaller one over there. There's octopuses. And there's the octopus, baby octopuses. Wow, so much variety. There's so much variety. I saw a different fish over there. It's one of the first products I've seen. They tie ropes around the belly of frogs so that it doesn't escape. Look, it can't go anywhere, for example. They sell them on big trays like this. Because it's hot, my brother is wearing his shorts without a t-shirt. He is working. Here they sell shellfish, mussels, snails, slender mussels, sand mussels, etc. They have oysters. My sister cleans the stuff here. And these are little babies, crabs, guys. That's what they do. They make a stew out of it, boiled with potatoes and onions. Look over there, a crab organized a suicide attack. It threw itself outside. And here are the little ones, snails. Shellfish, it's a great market. I don't see any veal, it's all pork. The transparent ones on the right are pork. Eve market. Look at this beautiful one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is now the fresh food section. And then there's the back of the market. Let's go through there. In that area, there's dried fish and stuff, guys. These are chili peppers. These are simply sliced. You know, when the fish is dried, it doesn't produce bacteria, so nothing much happens. Here are village eggs. 30, 35, 40, one, one and a half dollars each. The prices are a bit high because they are organic. It's called prayer fish. $14 a piece, that's about 60 cents. Look at the grapes, what are these? Antep black, Hunusu grapes, black, big and black. I think they call them Abdurazaki grapes. There are lychees here too. I like them very much. It's a very delicious fruit. I'm going to buy three or four kilos of fruit on my way out of here and go home. Because I love fruit, I love it. This is the first time I've seen strawberries. Strawberries are not available everywhere in Asian countries. Persimmon is famous. Tangerines, imported, avocados, mangoes. They're all beautiful. They're really sparkling. I love the stalls. We're moving on. My Vietnamese brothers are here. The main entrance to the market. This is the side street of the market, guys. There's a nice shopping mall here for Halloween. Circle markets are everywhere in Asia. 
7-Eleven is the same way. Visa, MasterCard, credit cards, etc. work in the country. There is no problem in that regard. We also support visa issues as follows. We issue one month visas and 90 day visas. Now Vietnam has made the conditions a little flexible. Friends, your visa comes out in a maximum of five, six, maximum seven days. Here we go. We are waiting for everyone to Vietnam. This is the entrance to the market. Let's take a look inside and see what we have here. Let's explore a little bit here, friends. Dear friends, hardware store toilet paper vendors. What are you doing in there with a motorcycle? Hello? Thank you. The market is very good. The fruits are good here too. It's like this. The wholesalers in a densely populated area. Tire shops, shoe shops, clothes shops. Let's go to the next blog. My uncle's here. Hello? Uncle. Where the hell are they coming from? Meticulous plastic? From Antep? By the way, I am from Gaziantep, friends. For those who don't know, if there are newcomers, I was born and raised in Gaziantep. Mr. Shahin. That's where we're from. But now we live in Bali, Indonesia. When I saw the slipper shop, I thought of my brother Ali again. It's always the same. Hello? It's a bit dark here. Jewelry Bazaar. There are silversmiths and stuff. My sister sews here. Very sweet local. It's a market. There are food vendors here too. Vietnam has dozens of beautiful dishes. Like in Taiwan, I plan to shoot a street food section here. Especially these friends had a soup called pho, which I was most curious about, made with beef. I want to try that. What's that? That's where they squeeze fruit juice or something. They also make desserts like this. You can see the prices. 15K, 20K, 25K. The best one is a dollar. That's a product over there. Look at the beauty of my sister's stall. Quickly, hello. Would you look at the beauty of the stall? My goodness. She's a veteran. The market is called Tan Mai. Let me show you. Kuta Mai. If you come, you can have a look here. We're about 15 to 20 minutes from the city center. This is the main entrance gate. I didn't want to visit in detail because there wasn't much different clothes inside. They squeeze sugarcane juice across the street. Now you have to be crazy to cross the street here in traffic. You have to be brave or you can't cross. You will jump into the street. If you don't jump, the motorcycles will definitely stop and give way to this guy. There's no such thing. Forget about him. Look, my sister makes tan my hair. That is, she squeezes sugarcane juice. As you can see, these are all sugarcane. Hello? Hello, hello? How is it? The water runs downstairs. The stall is nice and clean, by the way, but there are cars, flies, bugs. Sugar cane is what we call sugar cane. It is a very juicy and sugary product. They give it to horses, cows, etc., and the waste. 10 to 15 a grain. There are many shops selling sugar cane side by side. As we know in the country in recent years, French baguettes and bread are very common here because of the French colonization. These are the same as our loaves and there are sandwich shops called Ban Mui everywhere. Their sandwich makers make sandwiches for a dollar. Here they have pork fat, duck meat, pigeon meat and so on. There is bird meat. I will show you the sandwiches on the streets. It is a very pleasant place. It is a very friendly country. I am in such happiness while traveling, I am almost swept off my feet. My voice trembles when I talk. I'm stumbling. Maybe you've noticed. This is a sandwich shop, for example. It's also a faux soup place. It makes faux soup with meat noodles. Hello? These are like, you know, head meat or something, veal. Here they have pig's feet and stuff. They make sandwiches and soup. Sandwiches cost a dollar, guys. Let's go down the street a little bit. What else we got here? What's this one? Bonho. 35. It's another type of soup with meat. All the ingredients you see. This is the mixture. It makes a nice soup. There's also pasta made from rice. Women's care and beauty. Nail work. Look, this is a big money maker in Asia. Let me tell you. If you are thinking of doing nail work, Asia is your place, friends. You can print money here like a mint. Let's go back to the main street. It's getting pretty quiet around here. To Soteng. Let's see the action, man. Yeah, 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 it's hot. 35, 40 degrees. 
And we're coming towards the end of Vietnam's rainy season. In a month or so, the high season will start here. It's going to explode. We hope that Thailand, Cambodia, Laos will all have a serious season this year. Because COVID had an impact last year and the years before, but now that COVID is completely out of our lives, it is the full season in Asia. National lottery scratcher. You know, gambling and betting are everywhere. The light is exploding here in the same way. Let's cut the light burst, please. Yes, we've turned off our light burst, friends. Fan bread. That the Chinese are famous for. It looks white, but it's not raw. They steam it. And here is the famous ban sandwich. There is chicken meat, pork, turkey, turkey, beef. All of these are mostly pork. There's pork fat and stuff like that. There are eggs fried in oil. Bread is like this, friends. And the price is only one American dollar. Hello? You can eat a vegetarian egg sandwich here for a dollar. There are also nice markets. This place, for example, is a king food market, a flavor bomb. Yes, we are on the streets. Friends, we are here again. We are in the neighborhood where we belong. And as of now, we are online in Vietnam. Yilmaz, give me the drone, Dad. I saw something interesting over there. What is this, rice cake? Hello, what is this? Hello, what the hell is this? Rice cake? Rice cake. Rice cake. What is this? Fanipun. Fanipun. Yeah, Fanipun. Fanipun, brother. It's made from rice. Soy. As far as I know, because of the way it looks. Something with eggs. Thank you. I'm afraid we can't communicate because we don't speak English. I don't speak Vietnamese either. How is this going to work? Should we learn Vietnamese? At least let's do something. Let's learn 20 words. What do you say? I'll download the file today. What are you doing? I thought you were going to steal the camera. I'll prepare two or three A4 papers. Hello, let's learn the numbers so we can communicate. And meat, chicken, fish. Did you learn those? That's enough, you'll conquer the world. Of course, it's noon now. It's about two, zero, two, 30. These hours can be a bit quiet, but after five, zero or six at zero in the evening, Vietnam changes, my friends. There's a stampede everywhere. The places are full because this is a crowded country and a country where people love to live. Vietnam is a country of beautiful people, happy people, good people. Look, motorcycles can come out from everywhere. You have to look to the right, to the left, everywhere you have to check here. Otherwise, you might get hit by a motorcycle. Yes, I will. What's across the street? The oil office. Let's go around this back street again. We're tired now. I've been to the market. And I'm here for dinner. But I'm not the only one at this dinner. I'd like to introduce you together. Yay, Tabi. Greetings. We arrived in Vietnam yesterday. I did some chill out. We are here again Setbacks. after months. Actually, we were supposed to meet earlier, but somehow we couldn't. But we never denounced the plan. We just delayed it. Exactly. We're in Vietnam now. We're going to be traveling together for a while. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where are we going? I've been to Vietnam before. We came to Ho Chi Minh City. I have some business here for a few days. We'll probably be here for a week. From here, I think we should go to Hoi An. It's near Da Nang. It's right in the middle. Hoi An is an amazing place. You know these lanterns, Vietnamese lamps. There are no street lamps, but everything is lit up with them. It's a perfect place. From there, we'll go to Hanoi. Halong Bay from Hanoi. Then Sapa, rice field. Let's not tell the next country. Now, friends, if you follow Yit Abi and I from way back, you know me. We had an interview in Cambodia, that's how we met. Exactly. We met a year and a half ago. After that, we went to Bali. We had a vacation in Bali. A week, 10 days. Now we are going to travel to Vietnam together. And after that, we will probably go to a few other countries together. It's going to be a great trip. We're having dinner, we're moving on. That's our new trip. Good luck to you. Welcome back, King. Thank you. Our pizzas have arrived. This is an excellent restaurant. Four peas. Would you look at this pizza? Half of it's a different flavor. Half of it's a different flavor. This one's vegetarian. You know I'm on a sandwich diet, and here's a meat one. We'll eat it together. This one looks perfect. We ordered a salad to go with it. Thank you, Mr. Yi. They made the original Italian dough so thin. I love it. This is a Japanese company. 
I went to Cambodia. It came to Cambodia. It was advertised a lot. Then I looked it up. I mean, it's in Asia. As I said, the pizza is a bit small. But that works for us anyway. It's a diet. Look, it's artisanal. Anyway. How was it? Bitter. I like it a lot. Sir, we have come to the end of a quality day. Thank you all very much for taking the time to watch and appreciate this video. This video was a little short. The more comments and likes, the longer the next video will be. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next video. From Ho Chi Minh City, one of the most beautiful cities in Vietnam. Greetings, respect and love to everyone. Goodbye.